So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a shape around our two holes, and this is going to be just temporary. The reason we're going to do this is we're going to take this into the cleanser, and we're going to see that if the shapes that we just made, okay, our greens, our bunkers, and our tea boxes, we're going to make sure they cut correctly. We're doing this often because it's really hard to find shapes that are wrong inside of cleanser. And well, I shouldn't say it's hard. You need to train your eye to do it. So let's go back into Inkscape and we've got our hole 10 or in my case, my hole 10 and then my hole 11. And I'm going to create a new layer here. I'm going to do this right above my satellite overlays um, down here at the bottom. So it's going to be just above my satellite overlays. I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm going to call this my, um, uh, I'm going to call this my surrounding rough okay um, and at this point it's not important on what we assign this it's just kind of going to serve a function to see if we can cut it it's going to make sense here in a second so I've got my draw tool here my pen tool I'm in my surrounding rough folder here I got my bezier on and all I'm going to do is just draw a shape really quickly I'm not even going to spend much time making this look good but I just want to make sure it surrounds all the shapes that we just did on those two holes. Okay, that's it. I'm going to close that up. And because it's underneath these, it's at the bottom layer. And I'm going to make this rough. Okay, you can see rough has no blend. And I'm going to make sure it's plenty clear of all these shapes. And these are, this one's a little tight here, so I might change this. I'm going to click on this and I can pull this out a little bit more. You can see now I have my hole 10, my hole 11, and my shapes and my surrounding rough underneath it. Okay? It's pretty simple. So on to the next video.